Dr. Chatterley, uh, let's again, let's talk something again which uh, lately has made it into the news a lot, and that is people falling asleep in the afternoon um, on the wheel, wrapping a pass around the ball like just happened in um, New Jersey, and otherwise simply dozing off, um, no control over their bodily function for that much in terms of like not sleeping. And... Um, more and more over the last year or two, it has been found that sleep apnea, meaning stopping to breathe uh, and waking up during the night uh, because of not getting air is the cause. Most people who snore have that, and they wonder why they wake up tired, exhausted, in the morning already, it's because they sleep apparently six, eight, nine hours the way they should. They should really sleep eight, nine hours, as we know. Um, but whatever it is, they, they do get in sleeping, but they don't, and they don't even know it. And thus, they simply pass out in the afternoon. Can you shade some light on that story, and what are the solutions which one can do there, rather than taking a, a, a coffee and a Red Bull in the afternoon? Uh, yes, and, and matter of fact, we've had uh, several patients uh, that have come to us and have had that experience, and myself at one point in time, uh, I can relate to it. Uh, and if you, you may think you're getting a good night's sleep or because you're spending the time, uh, but in reality, if you, if you have a, even not a very severe sleep apnea, you're robbed of the effect of sleep because of the lack of oxygen. And, and most people that snore have this effect because in the process of snoring, they uh, uh, alter their, their breathing and they, <clears throat> they, well, like my wife used to complain, she, you know, she wasn't, uh, didn't fall asleep before I did, uh, and then she would, hear me go long lapses and then and then and then snore rather loudly and you don't really catch up enough breath uh, when you've gone you've gone almost what over a minute uh, holding your breath and your oxygen level goes way down and then when you grab that that breath uh, you're not making up the difference so uh, Sleep apnea definitely has, as they've studied it more and become more aware, they realize there's a lot of people in the public that are suffering from this, and and so you you, you see the other the alternative solutions, the uh, caffeinated drinks, uh, advertising, you know, get a boost in the afternoon, uh, you know, have a Red Bull, have this. That's not really a, a solution. It, it's uh, that that has side effects also. Uh, so people are much better off if they can help resolve the sleep apnea situation, rather than than trying to get a, a, a chemical substance boost uh, in the afternoon. And um, the, the there's several different appliances that, that a dentist can make that, that repositions a person's jaw that helps resolve the snoring because the, the snoring happens in the back of the throat and so if they they, you know, they uh, get the jaw repositioned down and forwards and it's at a point where it's comfortable enough and and then opens the airway in the back that's the first line resolution to the problem so then the snoring goes away and the stopping the breathing goes away and a person sleeps again a full night's sleep, which is why he wakes up in the morning uh, rested and doesn't, so to say, literally, kind of literally, uh, pass out towards the afternoon. Right. Effectively and efficiently sleeps by getting uh, oxygen into a system throughout the night instead of periodically uh, uh, kind of a up and down pattern. Uh, uh, and missing out on the, the the restfulness of the sleep because they're they're almost waking up as they uh, struggle for for breath after the the body even in the rest position gets to a point where it's it's, it's gasping for air so to speak uh, the, the, so they're they're not into the REM sleep the deep sleep as they need to be to, to get the, the rest and, and right. the recuperation that rest brings.
And they don't even know it, right? I mean, it's like you don't, you think you sleep all day, but you really don't, you really don't. Because like most people who snore, um, don't know they snore. I mean, they might know it here and there a little bit. They may have an inkling of it, but they really don't know the, uh, the extent of it. Um, and they also don't know the fact that they uh, gasp for air. Um, because I, as I have learned this from dentists like you, I've told my wife, I went home and said, you have sleep apnea. And she did get a test. And then, um, and um, yeah, she found out to wake, wake up several times an hour, uh, as much as one minute. And the doctor told her, I mean, the sleep test person told her, wasn't the doctor, uh, that uh, she gets a whopping uh, two and a half, uh, maybe uh, three hours uh, of sleep. Uh, and yet, we both, my wife and me, are very long sleepers. Um, so she now... Um, she now actually just got such an appliance. Well, she's getting it in a, in a few days, but um, she tried a sleep machine, a, a CPAP machine, an oxygen machine. And she, my wife is one of the most dedicated people you can find when she needs to do something. She just doesn't stop it. She's just, uh, you know, big-headed determination. Um, and let me tell you, that sleep machine... Yes, she apparently briefs now, but she now wakes up because of that machine, because basically you have a huge mask on it with a hose on it, and, and you can't toss and turn the way you want, and that in itself, uh, you know, must wake you up if after 50 years of uh, sleeping a certain way, 55 some, you all of a sudden need to sleep different. Um, so uh, she's looking precisely. forward. She's looking forward to the sleep appliance and a dentist who make it made it for her or is making it for her. Uh, he wears it himself and he says, yeah. He woke up tired, he fell asleep in the afternoon, he was exhausted, and uh, didn't know why. And he says, all of a sudden, in fact, he lost weight, um, uh, and all kinds of things. In fact, let me ask you another question. I've read that people with this sleep apnea seem to be needing to go to the bathroom to go pee-pee more often. Uh, any truth to that? Um... I'm not real. No, no, not not really aware of it. I just something I read somewhere. Um, it, again, you know, that's probably a hassle in itself. But uh, they're waking up. Well, All if right. They're sleeping, if they're not sleeping deep, deeply enough, they're going to be aware of you know what their body's needing. And if they went in, I'm sure if they went into a deeper sleep, uh, they wouldn't. They, they they wouldn't have to go as often just because the body would be. <laughs> Slow and relaxed, and and just wouldn't call their be called to their attention as often. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. But uh, okay, makes sense. So the point is, they're not sleeping well. So what is your take on the, you know, on on a, um, you know, when a person gets told that he should be having this CPAP machine, the, the machine which pumps air in it, um, um, you, you know, because it is considered to be a, a very well functional thing. If people wear it, yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, and, uh, if you need glasses, which I do to read, doesn't do me any good unless I put them on. And same thing with the CPAP machine. If if, if that's the solution, and you have this mask over your face, uh, what I've been told by a number of patients is it gives them a very claustrophobic feeling, and so the learning curve. For many of the patients that, that I've talked to that have been advised to, to have a CPAP machine is that it took them a long time to get used to it. For the other reason that you mentioned, they had to alter their normal sleeping habits because they were used to sleeping on a side. They couldn't do that as often, as, as comfortably. So uh, I always suggest to them, hey, why don't you try the dental repositioning mouth appliance and see if that's sufficient to help you out in the matter. Now, there's some people out there that have such a severe case of combination uh, that they really will only get help with a CPAP machine. But if, if they can uh, get, get more for less and less involvement and, it, and it doesn't, it's not as big an obstruction, try that first. Absolutely. And uh, I think that's probably where um, uh, the majority of people will fall into it. Uh, well, um, you know, again, um, appreciate you telling us about it. Um, 
There seems to be a tremendous amount of more people out there having this problem uh, than anybody is suspecting, and that's kind of coming to this uh, surface now. So, um, uh, yeah, a good night's sleep is... Uh, uh, many people, besides of sleep apnea, but, you know, doctors have complained that... Uh, this generation, our generation, the younger generation, anyway, that we sleep so much less than we used to, and there's a correlation between literally going insane, being depressed, and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, I know when I don't sleep for a couple of days, um, you know, my, my nine hours and eight hours, um, I, I get uh, all kinds of things. You get irritated. You just, you just don't want to think. You have a problem. You don't want to solve it because you're too tired. You, it's difficult to get you excited about something and obviously do a, a worse job uh, at work. And then there is, of course, the other things, the attention, the driving. Um, things like that may not be as as uh, as visible when you're like 20, you know, you can go out and, you know, be in the bars hopping uh, and, and only sleep a few hours. But it looks like, you know, people need to sleep and um, and that's just very important, uh, especially if it's camouflaged. If they think they get it and they don't get it, they should do something about it. Anyway, um, 